Hello everybody, I'm Serta and welcome back to Planet Crafter. Well, we are progressing. We, we do have water secured to uh, an extent. Uh, there's one in there. I have water on me. We have food growing, which I should probably pick if my inventory wasn't full. We have extended. We have our first tier three heater set up inside and uh, yeah, we, we're progressing well. So objectives. I would like to get to liquid water in this episode. So we're going to push for that and... We're going to get our biomass up a little bit as well. Other things are going well. Uh, I could use a pressure rocket because I've put up a heat rocket and as you can see, it's thrown everything right out of whack. So let's get stuck in. All right, we're also going to, we're going to need a better storage setup. We're going to need to organize our storage a little bit better. So I'm thinking what I might do is just push this out a little. I had titanium, I would. And it won't let us go out in that direction. It's a bit sad. All right, we can go there. Obviously, the ground is a little bit higher on the side over here. Yes, there's a little bump. All right, that's fine. As long as we have place for stuff, we can put like uh, the, the planters in there and then use this area a little bit more for storage. I do need the, the tier three heaters so I can get rid of these tier twos. But we did unlock the ore extractor, the tier one ore extractor. And for that, we need osmium, which we haven't seen yet. So I know where osmium can be found. I'm just not sure if it's available yet. So let's head up the hill. Okay, the cave is melting and this is osmium. So we're going to need a, we're going to need some of these. There's also, well, there's iron here, but there's also sulfur in this cave. So I'll grab whatever I can off the ground. And you'll find that there's still areas that are blocked off and this will start melting at five micro kelvin. So we've got a little way before that is unlocked. But in the meantime, we do have some stuff and we can at least get one extractor set up. Oh, maybe two. Now we do need iridium rods for these. And I don't think I have enough iridium. Yeah, it looks like I'm very short of iridium. All right, I'm four short, but I'm going to go and grab as much as I can out of the ceridium cave you can see it all flashing all the the red so i'll grab a few enough to make at least a couple of uh, of extractors just so that we don't have to be picking stuff off the ground as much anymore all right uh drink eat that'll give us just enough for two i think all right just a couple more pieces and we are set so four four sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen yep we can make two all right run over to here uh just do a couple of those all right so we've got the osmium and we've got the rods super alloy titanium and aluminium do the aluminium super alloys oh my gosh if i run out of those again right there's one looks like i've only got one so i just need to find a titanium and then we can sort something out all right Okay, I do believe I have everything I need to make this, so I'm just going to pop it over here. Not going to be its final location. I'm out of power, and that means I need more super alloy. Okay, I'm going to have to do a road trip. First, I'm just going to pop into the, the labyrinth, the maze, and just see if I can pick up a few. Okay, I want my terraforming to continue, so what I might do is just pick this up. There we go. And I'll see if I can pick up any more super alloy out of this area. All right, so I did manage to pick up a fair bit of super alloy, so we should be okay for a while. All right, so we have another storm coming in, but I just need to build this nuclear plant that'll give us power and see if I can dodge the hits. <laughs> well, this is a little unfortunate. Now, fortunately, those rocks despawn pretty quickly. We're done yet. No. Right, the storm seems to be over. So let's get our ore extractor in. And this is this is going to show iron because it's in an area where there are just general things and iron is an indicator of just sort of general stuff. Huh. Titanium, I think I need. Now, I have enough to build another extractor. And it's a bit of a toss-up. But I think... The tier one might be able to extract aluminium. So I'm going to put one down in there and just check. I actually can't remember. This seems like a good enough spot. I'll get it over here. And see what it says. 
Yes, it does extract aluminium. That's awesome. Which means I think um, I'm going to have to check which ones it doesn't do. But anyway, so we, we have an extractor grabbing us aluminium and other stuff right now. So that's cool. Okay, I'm back. We, I do need to spend a little bit of time sorting out storage. So let me see if I can uh, get some titanium. And then just put an extra compartment over here and it won't allow me. Man, that's annoying. All right, we can go that way. So that's fine. All right, storage chest. And we'll have a few of them around. Hmm, actually, they probably should be in this area. Somewhere closer to the door, so it's easy, easily accessible. And then I can just go and offload stuff. And I did pick up food out of a couple of boxes that I'd previously left behind. Food's okay for now. And I should grab a bit of water. Now, as far as power goes, we got 47. Another... Or minor uses 34, so we do have enough. I want to take one with me. I don't have enough iridium, but I have. Well, let's see what else I need. Okay, I'll need aluminium, two osmium, and then a, a rod. Ah, yes. Um, I don't have any more osmium, but I would like to go and get some more super alloy because that's also becoming pretty important, uh, more important than osmium at the moment. So my storage is empty. Uh, nothing else that I can get right now, I don't believe. Backpack tier 3. Tier 4, I think I already have. Oxygen 4, I think I have that as well. Yeah, it looks like we are there. So let's head out to a new area. All right, so coming through the Iridium Cave, uh, you come out of the cave on the south side and you come into this area, which has a kind of yellow haze going on and this is a sulfur area so you'll be able to find bits of sulfur on the ground but you can also mine sulfur here but that's not what i'm keen on at the moment uh, we can reach here without a problem i have picked enough stuff up for a habitat on my way here yeah so we're coming out on the western side there's a case i am going to put a living compartment up over here it's sort of somewhere in this area and whack a door on it. Okay, so there are a couple of things that we can get, can get in this area. This is called the Sand Falls, for obvious reasons. And somewhere in here is a cave. Oh, we've just unlocked the biolab, so that's a big one. All right, so we are kind of in the middle of the Sand Falls. And there's this little pile of rocks. If you head past it, uh, there you go. A cave. And look what we've got. What osmium. There's sulfur here as well, which um, I don't know if I'm going to bother with right now. Oh, this is our first look at plastic. Got some more osmium. Got some more flower seeds. Oh, we're going to get so many of those. Uh, at least I know there's some and I'll come back for them if I need them. All right, so there we go. Uh, that, that sorts that out and I have some osmium on me now. Not the real reason I was here. And I do have a bit of space left. But... There's super alloy underneath the dust. So I'm just going to run around and collect a bit of that as well. I just took a breath at my container. Pop back in here and carry on scouring. I have picked up quite a few. I think I've only got space for about four more. Yep, my inventory is full. Could drop the aluminium. Pick up another one. Aluminium's not going to be too difficult for us now. There are also cases in this area, so chances are I'm going to be coming back because there are some nice things in here that I'd like to get. Oh, and there's a golden chest in this area as well. Actually, two. But we're going to head back now. Oh, also on the eastern side of the, of the sulfur area is another entrance to the osmium cave. So we could have picked up more osmium here. Uh, that is the blockage that we saw coming down the hill from the wreck at the top. So yeah, that's, uh, it's just that passageway that's now blocked. We can still come in here and pick up the osmium. And uh, once we get the tier 2 extractors, we can actually pick it up. We can mine it as well. All right, so let's see what we got. We got a whole bunch of osmium and a bunch of super alloy. Superb. I'm going to dump as much as I can. Going to need another storage, I think. All right, right now everything's kind of going all over the place just so that I've got 
a place to put stuff. I will organize my storage later on. Now I'm going to head off and I'm going to go and fetch uh, as much iridium as I can get. Okay, while I was hunting for that, I found some more stuff. Uh, do I need all of this? Probably. I'll just take it. All right, that fills me up. Uh, how much iridium do I have? 17, and I've got some at base, so that's enough for a couple of rods. Super. Okay, good. Now we have a couple of extra rods, and uh, we had any more mail? No, not yet. We've slowly unlocked things, but I did pick up a microchip, so let's see what this gives us. Ah, the big living compartment. Okay. Well, that means I should actually start uh, advancing my plans on my base. Let's go see if we got anything in the box. Oh, we do. Okay, let me grab some iron because I'm going to put platforms down. And we are now extending towards where we want to be with our base. All right, well, the rain is coming down like crazy now. I think I'm going to go two more out. And then just so it doesn't look really dim, I'm going to put a bit of support down here. Oh dear. Okay, good. That connected. All right, that's the beginnings of our final base. But that rain is very noisy, so I'm going to let the storm pass and I'll do some fiddling around in the base, see what else I, I should do. I should probably get another heater in. Oh, mind you, heater's fine. I do need pressure. Maybe I should start building a rocket. Alright, one rocket built. Now, if I remember, that rocket will need two super alloy and three uh, silicon, I think it is. Oh, there you go. Storm is settling down and I'll launch a rocket. So it's this one. It'll give us uh, iridium, which I'm going to have to go and collect. I made a mistake after the last episode. I actually didn't go and collect the uranium and when i restarted all the uranium that had fallen was gone so a bit of a toss-up but i think uh, this is the one that i should go for now just give us that multiplier cool rockets away all right so that's going to cause a storm okay well the direct hits again so we'll just go and pick up the iridium and we'll just turn these straight into iridium rods to save space. Okay, I've got a few, so let's sort out those rods. Fabulous. My storages are full again. I'll just drop that in there. At the moment, I'm, I'm kind of not struggling for food because I've been eating the space food. I'm not sure if two grows would be enough to sustain a person because they do take quite a long time. And the food that comes out it is, isn't exactly nutritious. So 25 and 40. Well, the squash is better than the eggplant. So yeah, probably grow that. But you do need both of them anyway. All right, so how are we doing? We've pushed things up quite a bit. Uh, heat is now uh, up. Pressure is up. Uh, pressure's got a bit of catching up to do. And uh, now oxygen's fallen behind. So I think uh, perhaps another veggie tube. All right, we're having a storm. I need a water for this. And we can pop that down right there. Add the golden seed, which I picked up from a golden chest. And that'll give a little bit of a boost. Not great, but there's an oxygen rocket as well. It's not unlocked yet, but it will come. All right, the storm is finally finished. Let's just go and see where we are on the stages. Okay, so we have finished liquid water and we're going on to lakes. 3.7%, which means we should start seeing water. And there it is. Folks, we have water. And this is why I said it was not a good idea to build down here, because this whole area will be underwater relatively soon. Now, there were a couple of chests around here. I figure I'll pick them up. Oh, and we have an algae generator. That's nice. Uh... And yes, you need a lot of iron, so probably a good idea to, at this stage, collect it because you're going to be needing uh, a fairly substantial amount. Wow, these iridium meteor rocks, uh, they are taking quite a long time to despawn. All right, we'll pop that in there and 
I'm going to have to move things around. I'll, I'll do that between episodes because I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do yet. What I would like to do, however, is take this down and I'm going to move it into this area. Okay, so we can have a, a few of them down in here and then I have space over here for more storage. And the tier 5 backpack has been unlocked. Oh my word, that's uh, quicker than I expected. That needs titanium, which I think I can find pretty easily. Right in my ore extractor. And I have a heap of... Well, I have more than this somewhere. Oh, there we go. Lots of super alloys. So let's see what that does for us. First of all, let's have a look at what we've got. So 7 4 is 28, right? If we add this one, we now have 35. So that's that's pretty nice. Okay, well, maybe we should have a look at what's coming because we did that. Oh, yes, we've got algae generators. I'm not going to put them down, although they do give good oxygen. I'm not going to put any down right now because uh, I want the water to get a little closer first. Okay, tier 2 um, nuclear gen that is at 1.5 megapascals and that is quite a way off. The biodome tier 2, 12 micro kelvin, so that's also a little way off. But that's followed by the tier 4 drill. Okay, the tier 4 heater at 63, a long way off. We need to really do some work on the oxygen. And then a lake water collector. Ooh, this is this is awesome uh, because this is going to collect water. Uh, I think it collects faster than the atmospheric water collector, but it also has a storage of about eight, I think. So that that's going to be pretty good. And then we can get into optimizers. Ooh. Okay, so that's coming at uh, 50 MTR, which is still quite a, lo quite a long way off. Okay, so everything's kind of slowed down, which means we've, we've got a gap to sort of do things. I'm not going to, you know, for the purpose of this, through i'm not gonna push like crazy to get the the terraformation up extremely fast i mean i could put up a thousand rockets that would be that would be interesting to see but i've done it before so i'm gonna do that again um i want to play through kind of like a regular and sort of minimal but i'm still gonna have a really cool base anyway so we, we actually have biomass that's cool because uh the next stage after lakes can't remember what it is so we're five percent towards lakes so that's good but that means that i can do other stuff as well so i'm gonna grab some titanium got some iron i'll grab a silicon and i'm gonna put the first block to my new base up right away okay it's not there it's there yep i think that's right depends on how the door works yeah, see, it's very difficult to get it exactly centered. I'll try that again. That is as centered as I can get it. Anyway, so that'll that'll do. I just won't look down when I'm walking. And this is the very first block for our new base. All right, uh, I do suppose I should have something to drink. And probably something to eat as well. Oh, mind you, I, I have stuff. All right, and I did put up a new container just so that I've got a place to drop things off that I don't really want to carry with me. Okay, so I want to confirm something. I know that we can get aluminium with the tier 1 miner and we can get the, the normal stuff. Let's go and see if we can pick up iridium. I can't remember if we can and also sulfur. I think sulfur you can, but I can't remember. So we'll just pop in here first. We have just enough power for one. So if I use it, I might have to break it down. Okay, so we can get Iridium with a miner. That means I'm going to have to collect miners, which means I need to collect Uranium because I need a lot more power. Okay, I'm probably going to leave that one in the Iridium area and go and get another one because Sulfur isn't crazy important, like, immediately. Let's test it out over here. There we go. Okay, so Sulfur you can do as well. So before I place that miner, I'm actually going to think about where I want to place it. Uh, because I need power, which I probably then need to, to collect iridium. So I can send a rocket to bring some more uh, uranium through. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll leave it in here. Put it in a position where I can extend later. 
All right, so now that's going to collect smatterings of uh, iridium in amongst the, the regular iron and titanium and stuff. Right, so at this stage of the game, there's going to be a lot of running around, going to collect stuff out of miners, going to build miners, going to collect stuff to make miners, and uh, increase your power. So we're going to need more of those, and soon enough we'll get to the big ones, which need even more uranium. But there will be a lot, a lot of back and forward uh, until we sort of start getting to the automation. And it becomes easier as you go, because the higher the tier, not only the more efficient they become, the better they become at getting what you want. Like for the tier 3, for example, you can choose exactly which, which all you want. But we've also started on our main base, our final base. There's going to be a lot of work going into this before I actually move things out of here. But that's where we're going to leave it. If you like this video, give us a like if you want to see more. Subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications. I thank you so much for your support. I hit uh, 2,000 subscribers a couple of days ago, and it's been an incredible journey. Everyone who subscribed, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate your support. And thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, cheers.